and welcome guys to another reef tech quickie so as many as you know i've been utilizing some concepts designed to closely attempt and mimic what goes on in the ocean one of these methods is to have a fully functioning refugium jammed full of critters initially when i set up my display i had been using a kessel h80 grow light to grow my chato however i noticed that as the chato grew it also died and never really attained that lush green color that I've come to expect. At first, I chalked this up to nutrients as I barely have any detectable nutrients. Phosphate is undetectable, as are my nitrates. But after watching the recent BRS videos regarding grow lights, I realized that they are able to grow stunning amounts of chato with low nutrients as well. So something told me to take a PAR measurement of my refugium light and I was stunned to see that at best it was woefully inadequate to grow chato in my style of refugium. Dropping $300 to pick up the Bentley of grow lights was not in my budget. So naturally I took a trip to Amazon to see what I could find and I stumbled across these COB dense matrix grow lights for about 30 to 60 bucks. I had nothing to lose, so I decided to pick one up for $31 and give it a try. That was three weeks ago. Now these lights may not be Bentley Kessels, but I have to say that without a doubt they do the job amazingly well. To date, I have harvested almost 5 gallons of Chato and my tank is never better. I would highly suggest these grow lights to anyone that doesn't want to take the plunge into a higher end Kessel grow light. The lights are simple, on off, waterproof, they run fairly cool, and there are no fans or moving parts. They also come with a hanging kit. The light output is very similar to the Kessel's H80's grow setting, which happens to be about like a purple, red, pinkish light. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Reef Tech Quickie, and let me know in the comments if you end up picking one of these up for yourself. As always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for a big update on my 350 gallon display and the softy 60 gallon tank. As always guys, live, learn, grow, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.